Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner with David Grant. Or do you prefer Davey? Davey, please, if you don't. Davey Grant, <laughs> you're very welcome. So you've had quite a journey through your experience with the Ultimate Fighter. Things probably didn't turn out the way you liked because I know you wanted to show the world what you were capable of in your semifinal. But how would you rate the overall experience going through what you did in those six weeks filming? I mean, uh, I'm, I'm so pleased that I did it. But I, I wouldn't be in a rush to do it again. Uh, it was really hard. I mean, I've got two little boys at home, and uh, and it was just so hard not being able to contact them or or anything, or even knowing if they were okay. Um, that was that was really really hard for me. But obviously, the what can come out of the show, it, it was worth it in the end. So um, yeah, but I, overall, I really enjoyed it, although it was so emotionally testing at the time. How difficult was it for you? You seemed very distraught in that episode where Anthony doesn't make the weight and you didn't have the opportunity to fight in that semi-final. How did that affect you? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I was just so disappointed because, uh, I mean, I dreamt about getting to the Ultimate Fighter finale so many times in my head and, and never once did I get there by forfeit. And, uh, and, and I just I didn't want to be remembered as the guy who, who got to the finale by forfeit, you know. I mean, I, I've worked hard in my life to, for everything I've achieved. And, uh, and I didn't want the, la the last bit just sort of given to me, you know. Uh, but then thinking back now, I mean, I'm one step closer to my dream. And, uh, and I've got to think about the kids at the end of the day. So my pride shouldn't really come into it. It's the, it's the contract I'm after. There's a lot of English fighters, such as Michael Bisming, who've won the Ultimate Fighter and been in your shoes before. Do you have any kind of sense of pride being, you know, the Englishman here in the finale wanting to represent for the country? I mean, yeah, definitely. It's great that people have got me pinned as, like, uh, as representing the country. And, uh, I feel, feel really, really proud and I just, I just hope I go and do everyone justice. You also spoke about your sons and how much of a motivation that they were for you on the show. Uh, I remember the episode with Rondo's mom coming in and coaching with the team and she pointed on the wall to your pictures and said, that should drive you. How much do they play a role in really motivating you to capture your dreams? Oh, I mean, that, that's the main motivation. I, I don't think you can get a bigger motivation. I mean, people who've got, who've got children themselves will understand that you just want the best life possible for them. And, um, and if I can go and win this contract, then... Uh, then I, then I can give them a hell of a lot better life and, and all the things that I wanted when I was a child. You know, I just I just really want them to be proud of us, uh, firstly, and uh, and to give them as, as much as I can. Uh, for the team that you were on, Team Rousey, I know that now you're working down in Southern California. There was very much a special bond there between you and Ronda Rousey. Uh, how would you, I guess, how did it come to be that you went down to Southern California? I mean, uh, obviously Captain Tuck, to Ronda and the crew after the show, and... Uh, and I just thought it would be a really good idea. I mean, I, I worked really well with Edmund on the show, um, and, and I thought it would be a great idea to come over to get used to the time difference, to sharpen up my training, like a few minor adjustments, and um, and, and we got just got on so well. It just felt right. Holzer said that this week that he was trying to avoid you, but that you've already ran into each other in your travels here. Uh, what are your thoughts on Holdsworth as an opponent for the finale? I mean, yeah, I think he's a great opponent. Um, he's an exciting fighter, and, and, I th and I think I'm an exciting fighter, so I think it's going to make for an exciting fight. As far as your finishes go, the both of you have literally finished every opponent that's ever been in your path. How difficult do you think it'll be to do that against a guy like Chris? Um, yeah, I think it's going to be really difficult. Yeah, it's going to be a really tough challenge, but um, I've trained hard, and, and I'm more than ready for it. Well, we want to wish you all the best of luck, Davey. Thank great. you very much. Thank you. Thanks,